Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. Uh, we are here in the VAB making some changes to our old trusty RA8 rocket. Uh, that wiggle problem was really just killing me. So we've uh, made some adjustments to the top of the uh, rocket, expanding it out to 3.9 meters to fit an S1B core on it. And now we are fitting the core stage with a new engine, which we will get more to later. Um, the TWRs are a little iffy at this point, so we're going to play with some tank sizes and fitting. Trying to get uh, these boosters maybe to line up a little bit. I didn't mean to do that. So just a little control Z um, and some fitting on the tank sizes. Adjusting some things here in staging, which uh, there's a lot of mistakes in there. I should have caught, but did not. And, you know, just uh, trying to get things sorted out. It looks like we're going to have to fire all of these engines on the ground, uh, typical Soyuz and uh, R7 style, adding a few more struts just to make sure everything's cool, giving it a little bit of a rename, plotting it for Mercury, and now let's take it outside for a little simulation. Here we go. All right, we are here out on the launch pad with our brand new RA9 launch vehicle uh, for its first simulated test run. Our initial liftoff thrust to weight is not very impressive. Oh, actually, it's 0.97. I was looking at the wrong number. Ugh. All right, well, we're going to have to do this then. That does change things to a much more acceptable level, although caps the delta V well below where I would like it. Anyway, all right, so we're going to have to see how this test flight goes. The ignition. All engines lit. Release the clamps. We are away. And yes, we are draining fuel from that. We have switched out our uh, RD-108 series for this uh, RD-275, uh, which has an unlimited burn time for whatever reason. But uh, we're going to take advantage of that and let it run for a full five minutes and some change, which seems like a good burn time for a core stage on a several booster type launch vehicle. So uh, other than this stage being ridiculous, this is very Soyuz-esque, if I do say so myself. Uh, I've always really liked this design and thought it was very pretty, so that's why I continue to emulate it. Uh, we are not seeing the wobble issues that we had before, so maybe the uh, elimination of those two cores in between the stages was what was causing the issue. We now have this S1B uh, computer core controlling all of our things for us and doing a mighty fine job, if I do say so myself. Um, it's very nice to go from two cores down to one. Uh, I'm not sure about the weight savings there, but I can only assume that they do in fact exist. So we're probably just going to fast forward through uh, a bunch of this launch. I know it's been a very fast forwardy kind of episode, but that's just how things go sometimes. So I will see all of you in orbit. All right, uh, 198 by 166, and it looks like we have uh, considerably more fuel in our hydrolock stage than we did with the old RA8, even with lighting all of the engines on the ground. So I'm going to call this a successful test flight, and uh, really I think all of our RA8 scheduled launches will be now switched out to RA9, even though it is, uh, I would say, probably about 5k more expensive. Honestly, I wasn't paying very close attention to the cost, but uh, this is pretty good for a deliverable payload to orbit. 
And really, considering we still have the option of using a single-engine Centaur stage, um, I don't know, I didn't accurately call this a Centaur stage, but our, what is it, RL-10s? Yeah. Uh, we can use a single-engine RL-10 to save some weight, maybe get a little more deliverable payload, as long as we don't need that extra oomph, like uh, this that was designed to go to Jupiter, uh, which still has damn near, uh, well, 8,500 meters per second left in it. Uh, that's good for a transfer almost anywhere for a 0.2 ton payload, which isn't really very good at all. But anyway, um, that's going to do it for today, guys. Uh, I'm sorry about the really short episode, but you know how things go sometimes. Some You just need to do some R&D and some building of things and stuff. So thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate it. Uh, I'll see all of you tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out.